is up YouTube? What is good? Going for a little cruise. So a while back I mentioned in uh, one of my videos briefly, there was a couple accidents I mentioned, but specifically an air mattress being one it was still inflated and it wasn't properly secured to the bed of a truck and it flew off causing uh, someone to die and three people getting injured where three motorcycles were involved in the accident first motorcycle managed to dodge the air mattress the second motorcycle hit the air mattress and got tangled up in it and the passengers, both passengers were ejected and the third motorcycle couldn't avoid the second motorcycle and also got ejected from his ride a 55 year old man, this happened up around ah oh shit, where did it happen? around the Fort Erie area and it was a 55 year old Fort Erie man that uh, died from his injuries as a result of this. They still, they've located the store that sold that air mattress, that specific air mattress, and they're still pleading with the person to come forward. Like what I gotta say is what pisses me off, like really, really pisses me off, is the fact that when you got home, or who, you know, whoever it was, I hope by random fluke you're watching this, which I highly doubt, but that would be sweet. You're a bag of shit. I hope you fucking choke on a fucking rapist cock. Because when you got home and you noticed your air mattress was gone and then all over the news, like everywhere, are reports of a, you know, a suspect truck involved in an air mattress being thrown from his vehicle <clears throat> causing an accident and a death and you still haven't come forward or I'll just say they because, you know, there's no way in hell they're going to be fucking watching this shit How the fuck do you <clears throat> lose your air mattress? Like this guy was 55, he had a family, you know, possibly a son, he was a father to somebody, a husband. And how stupid can you be to even not deflate your air mattress and pack it up in a box? That's what, you know, I have an air mattress because my wife likes it, I hate it. But you know, when we're done camping and stuff, we pack it up. Beautiful. Yeah, we pack it up, put it in a box, get all the air out, and said this clown, whoever this clown was, throws it in the back of his truck, doesn't even tie it down properly like a decent human being. Like, it's not even that hard. You can buy a whole bunch of bungee cords and shit like that, and they're, they're peanuts. They're peanuts. Probably pick them up at a dollar store. but then lose it, not even put two and two together that you lost it and around the area that you were, there was a death and that possibly could have been that friggin' air mattress that you lost. Look at that sex beast. Yeah. Yeah, not put two in together and figure out that that was your air mattress, or at least the possibility it could be your air mattress. And say something to the police and just be like, hey, I think, I think this could be mine.
it's really not that hard, man. It just takes a decent human being. Accidents happen. But this went from an accident to a complete tragedy. With this guy not even owning up to... to what happened. Things fly off. I mean, I could, you know, the tire, the car in front of me, something could happen. I don't know, a tire fly off and hit me. But what he does after the fact is what makes it a true accident. Does he, does he keep going? Does he ignore the fact that I was hit? Or does he keep going and just go on with his own life? That's criminal. I mean, and I got nothing against, like, there's one thing that, you know, not, I'm not, I'm not the most law-abiding guy, like I said, like, I, I have morals, but I, I do believe I'll do what I want, I just have morals, I'm not gonna hurt random people and shit like that, but, I gotta eat and something happens, you know what I mean, like, you got my drift, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive, period, we don't fuck other people's lives up. That, that's when shit to me becomes real criminal. And I hope they get what's coming to them. I'm not talking about, oh, you know, I hope you get an accident and fucking die and shit. Like, no, I'm not that kind of person. I am not that kind of person. But, karma's a bitch. Karma is a bitch. Yeah, that's really shameful. I still can't believe it. My condolences go out to the families and those affected. That truly is sad. Some weird fluke. Tragedy. Fuck, I almost want to say I smell the weed. I smelled the weed. It's really weird. But anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button. And don't be a shitty person. It's one thing to have a good time, have some fun. There's nothing to be a shitty person. If your actions happen to hurt somebody else, just own up to it, man up, don't be a bitch. Don't be that person. Shit happens, man. Like I said before, what you do after is what says the type of person you are and what says what really happened. Was it an accident? 